Breaking news, Nigerians. They say wonders shall never cease to end. Northern group attack Ndebo over Namdi Kano. The reason will shock you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Indigo reportedly resumed their calls for Namdekanu's unconditional release. As patriotic leader, but came under attack from a northern group, according to sources, that were made accessible. The coalition of northern group CNG has criticized the increased demands for Namdi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo, a bound organization to be released unconditionally as being this lawyer. Hmm. Therefore, in a statement released on Saturday, the group spokesperson, Adulaziz Suleiman, urged federal government or federal authorities to disregard such unpatriotic cause and continue to be Stand first in seeing Kano's persecution true to its logical conclusion in order to avoid creating a precedent whereby regional leaders interface with administration of justice. The Northern Group noted that after the February 25th presidential election and the subsequent election of Ashiweju Bola Metunubu as president elect, requests for Kano's release without charge from Indigo leaders and group had grown stronger. Therefore, it denounced organizations and other Indigo leaders and groups reiterated calls for the premature end of Kano's trial, calling them crazy, logical, unjustified, careless, and unrealistic. The Indigo's reiterated demands for Kano's unconditional release were likewise resisted by the NCNG, okay, he said the president should remain steadfast in ensuring the thorough prosecution of Kano, his sponsors, backers, collaborators, in heinous crimes against the Nigerian state and innocent Nigerian citizens, it continued. The federal government must resist the current pressure by, by organizing and is linked to secure the unconditional release of the leader of a group that has been duly designated as a terrorist in order to prevent a descent into a descent into anarchy to avert mass killings, untold sufferings and atrocities. Additionally, I warned the new administration against falling for the tricks of the Indigo, he said. You see, these people are very funny. They are really very, very funny. I don't know how Mazen Namdekano's case has become a problem to them. Namdekano does not have any case with the federal government of Nigeria if we are in the same society. The man we are talking about has been discharged and acquitted by a competent court of jurisdiction. So as far as this case is concerned, Namdi Kano has no case to answer in any court of law. But Kano is still in the DSS court study. Why? Now, talking about IPO has been designated as a terrorist group, that, that is the reason why Namdi Kano should not be freed, even when the court have said let him go. Okay, bandits. And Boko Haram in Nigeria, are they not terrorist group? Are they not be are they not been designated by the Nigerian government? And the same Nigerian government is giving amnesty to the member of these groups? What are we talking about? Every two, three months, these people graduate. They say they are repented. After committing all the atrocities, the Northerners are not telling themselves the truth. Kano is not their problem. You have problems in your region, deal with it. And leave Namdi Kano alone. If Indigo or other Nigerians are asking the Nigerian government to be cut order here, I don't think it's out of place. Because Nigerian government how to obey the orders of the courts. 
That is the only way they will take us serious as a country. How can you have a government who do not obey its own court of law? Who does that? And somebody is out there, people are out there applauding for them. Is that what a government is that how to rule a country? A government that doesn't obey the rules of law? You are saying that and all that. Namdi Kanu should not be released. They should persecute him. They should kill him. They should do this. How many bandit leaders? How many? We are even talking about bandits. These are terrorists. Namdi Kanu is a freedom fighter. He is. He is a victim of the injustice. A product of this government injustice is a victim. Are they even trying to ask? Are they even try to ask the Nigerian government to look into the root of agitations? Or these people just wake up one day, they just want to disturb the country and they start agitating. You see the problem we are facing. We see people who do not think straight. Yeah, they will just think one way. And they think that will solve the problem in the country. With what happened, President Muhammad Buhari have divided this country. We have never been divided like this. Yes, that is the truth. Before the Southeasterners and the Northerners will come together, it's not going to be easy because of how President Muhammad Buhari placed things. We have never been divided like this as Nigerians. This administration have destroyed all the bonds we have together with each region. Look at what is going on. The Southwesterners are still attacking the Southeasterners. Why? It's because of the way this government, you know, have placed every other thing. This is unfair. Keeping in the Kano in detention when he has been released by a court of a, 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 a competent court of jurisdiction is against the law also. It's against the law. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts.